Hi, I'm Valerie from ValerieGetch.com and Valerie's Photo Channel with a new Lightroom tutorial. You might be wondering what the heck the previous button does and how you use it. It's actually pretty handy and I'll show you how it works. If you make adjustments to one photo, you can use the previous button to apply the exact same settings to another photo. So in other words, whatever you did to the previous photo, it will do to the next photo that you choose. It doesn't need to be the next photo consecutively, it's just whatever the next photo is that you select. But keep in mind that it does apply the exact same settings, including any adjustment brush or radio filter or cropping, graduated filter, etc. So it applies absolutely everything to the photo that you did to the first one. Here's an example. This is a photo taken at the beach, obviously, and in the film strip are several other photos taken at the beach as well, and they have similar lighting. I'm going to make a few edits to this image. First off, we can see that it's a tad crooked, so I'm going to adjust the angle. And just get it straightened. And that looks better. Then I'm going to bring down the highlights, open up the shadows, and I'm going to set the white point by holding down the Alt or the Option key if you're on a Mac. I move the white slider to the right until I see some color or some white, and then I'm going to back off a bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the blacks and move the slider to the left. I'm going to go a little bit further here to set my black point. And I think that the image could be just a little bit brighter, so I'm going to up the exposure. Mm, that's too much. Let's try, try and see if I can get to 0.24. I'm just going to type it in because I think that might be a happy medium. There we go. And I think I might also move the temperature to make it a little bit warmer. Let's see. How about there? And let's add some clarity and maybe some vibrance. And now I'm going to go to another image in the film strip, this one here, which is similar. And I'm going to hit the previous button. You'll see that there aren't any adjustments here. It's all zeroed out. And then I'll hit the previous button and you'll see that it applied the same settings as the other photo and including that adjustment to the, um, to the horizon line. Now remember the first image was crooked, so this image happened to be straight to start with, so now it made it crooked. So that is one thing that you just need to keep in mind. Um, if, if you make any any adjustments that might be applicable only to one image, such as straightening a horizon, you know, applying a graduated filter or local adjustments, just remember that those same adjustments are going to be applied to your next photo when you use that previous button. So you may need to do a little bit more adjusting, but all in all, the previous button can be a great time saver. In my next tutorial, I'll show you how to save editing time by using the sync and the auto sync buttons and what the difference is. Thanks for watching. I'm Valerie Getch and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the like button and be sure to download my free 66 page digital photography basics ebook. See you next time.